which was at Whitby Folk Week two years ago. Mm-hmm. We all met up in my B&B and like, oh, should we sing some songs together? And it, was very, it was very funny. And um, yeah, so I brought that one along. And um, it seemed to work really well, actually. Yeah, for a first song, for a it really song, did yeah. work, which was yeah. great, because it gave us a good start. We don't band. make such 
complicated arrangements. No. <laughs> <laughs> the most complicated one we do, I think. Yeah. Sort of have harmony wise. I, I think I'd always really liked it and hadn't found another medium to do it in, and it just seemed appropriate mm. for. I think I've always thought it would be nice with vocal harmony, so. So what we try it's out. a great song as well. Like. Yeah, it's a really good song. And what is it that the, the subject matter is rather sinister, isn't it? Mm. And did that appeal? Yeah. Yeah, the whole idea of the changeling, apparently it's a kind of folkloric motif um, and they reckon it might have been a way of coping with things like postnatal depression or um, infant disability. So it's actually got quite a depth to the range of the song Fun and I think to the words that um, Gavin Davenport wrote the words and they really kind of bring that out, which is really nice. Well, we started walking, I never said no, had a narrow escape that day. Cause Mary and she's after me, full of love she seems to be. My mother says it's plain to see that she wants me for a young man. Father says if that be true, John, my lad, be thankful too. But there's one bigger fool in the world than you. Idea for Lady Mosley, the, the band, the trio coming back. Is it your idea? Well, I mean, yeah, we all had different yeah. ideas, we all came together really. Me and Hazel have been chatting about it for quite a while, like at least a year before. Because yeah. we, we really wanted a girl who had a low voice. Um, and you couldn't find anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> for a year, we're like, who do we know with a low voice? <laughs> Yeah, well, no, she I was. Do, really, so. <laughs> we wanted someone who was the same height as us originally. That was our criteria. We had to make a sacrifice, I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we gave in. <laughs> but you got the That's one version of the story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one is that I auditioned these two for my band. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that was all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're named after a folk song. Is there a particular um, reason that you've. Well, it's kind of the, that one. it's not necessarily it's the, the song, it's the character really, because <laughs> mm -hmm. you get the name Major in quite a lot of different ballads, mm -hmm. and it's a name that doesn't really appear in anything else as far as we know in literature or anything, it's a very folky name, um, so I don't know, we just thought it'd be nice. The actual ballad uh, is about um, a woman who gets burnt at the stake by it's her own... It's an incredible own, ballad actually, yeah, it's like really half an hour her. harrowing. And by her own family for being in love with a southerner. Mm, yeah, that's good. Um, but we don't actually sing it. But, no. um, but there is there are versions of the Gardener that we sing that have got Lady Maisie in. Mm, well. Yeah, it's also just it's it, we like the name and we wanted a name that sort of signified that we were an all female band, but yeah. not something that was overly girly or overly mm. feminine. Sounds so a bit like misery, doesn't it? So <laughs> One of the striking things about your performances and your recording is the tune scene that you do, and people always comment on that. How did you uh, discover that? Well, me, well, we've all been quite uh, influenced by sort of Scandinavian music because we, me and Hazel, have been to ethnos quite a lot yeah. and, and learnt Swedish music there. And uh, Rowan studied in Sweden for a year, and I studied in Finland for six months. And there's a big tradition still there of, of singing tunes, um, a really nice tradition. And we just thought it should be sort of revived in this country because it kind of mm. probably happened here at some yeah. stage. So we started off, the first tune set that we put together was two Swedish tunes, and then the second one was a Swedish tune with an English tune, and then we just went we're crazy and did Morris two polkas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's going to be next. Yeah. Yeah. You mentioned ethnos. Could you tell us a bit about those, please? They're these amazing uh, music camps that happen in different countries. Um, there's loads of them every year, and then um, musicians from all over the world just meet for a week and teach each other music from their country, it's just an amazing, the one we all went to, the one in Slovenia this year for a little bit, mm. and um, it was just amazing, and most of, the, most of the musicians there were actually people who were uh, professional musicians, and but they were just there to sort of play music for the sheer joy of it, mm. and, and kind of remember why they started playing music in the first place and stuff. And the, the syllables that you sing, even though they're not nonsense syllables, aren't yeah. particular ones that you always put into tune singing. Well, we, yeah. a lot of them have a duh sound, diddles yeah, and diddles, diddles, yeah. which is, a, I think, a bit influenced by Scandinavian yeah. things. But, but it's generally like the vowels and stuff are, are vowels that sort of 
Right. Well, because I suppose yeah. you, if you you don't have to sing words, then you can sort of pick what sounds yeah. good kind of and depending on the nice tune song. as well so like yeah, yeah, if definitely. we're going to do like a Morris tune or something with a bit of a swing in it then just going la 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 or something it will it would be quite stuck so it's nice to use sounds to sort of like put the swing or the rhythms in mm. yeah. So yeah and presumably you need, you need to agree on those syllables before you start yes. yeah. yeah it, it actually takes, takes longer time. <laughs> the <laughs> first <laughs> one we ever did we had to write them all yeah. out and learn them but i think after that we kind of got used to yeah. the, the rough the little flow things it's only the little details yeah. to go over. when we were recording the album um we'd, we'd done about four takes of the polka set and uh and it, we were quite stressed, it had taken quite a while and we were almost all the way through a really nice take and then Rowan just started absolutely, like she was just laughing so much and it, we didn't know what she was laughing at <laughs> and, uh, and then it turned out that she'd, um, she'd let off a, a yabba dabba do by accident yeah. so yeah, <laughs> These things can happen if you're not careful yeah. 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 It's uh, high risk yeah, yeah.